Hi, this is Christine. I'm Mark. And in this tutorial, we will show you how to start with the title screen, keep track of score, and improve the visuals a lot. So let's start the game and see what it will look like at the end of the tutorial. I see there's a title screen at the beginning of the game. I press enter and start the game. There's a nice display at the bottom that the health bar fits in perfectly. Also, you can see there's a score displayed too. When I defeat an enemy, my score goes up. So now that we've shown the game, we can unbold that from the list. Go back to the last tutorial that we left off at. First, we want to manage the score. So let's go to our Lives Controller object, which manages everything else. In our draw event, we want to draw the health bar and number of lives. And we also want to draw the score. So go to the score tab, drag the draw score icon in. Let's use these numbers. X equals 180. and y equals view underscore y view plus 440. And delete the caption. That draws the score near the bottom of the screen. What color will the score be displayed in? We don't know unless we set it. Go to the draw tab and find a painter's palette icon. It sets the color of the text. Drag it in above the place that we draw the score. I'm going to choose to make our score yellow. So we've drawn the score, and we can unbold that from the list. Now we need to increase our score every time we destroy an enemy. So go to the enemy object, and in the collision event with the player's bullet, both the enemy and the player's bullet are destroyed. Now we want to increase the score. So go to the score tab, drag the set score icon in, and choose the new score to be 25. And check relative so that it will add 25 points to the score. So we've increased the score every time we destroy an enemy, so we can now unbold that from the list. The rest of this tutorial is making the game look better using good graphics. Remember there was an icon on the bottom of the screen when we showed the game at the beginning of the tutorial? Let's place it in our game. Create a sprite. Name it SPR underscore bottom image. Load the sprite. It's called bottom.pmg. Looking at it, you can see that there is a place for the health bar, score, and an image of the plane on the far right. We've been setting up the numbers of the previous tutorial so that the health bar fits right in the box, and the score will fit right under the score label, and the lives will go right above the health bar. Now that we've created the sprite, we need to place it in our game. Go back to the lives controller object. Under draw event, we need to draw our bottom graphic. In the Draw tab, there's a red Pac-Man icon, which is Draw Sprite. Drag it in and choose the Sprite SPR bottom image and set these numbers. X is 0, Y is y, oh, View underscore Y View plus 404. Click OK and we can unbold the Draw bottom graphic from our checklist. But wait! Game Maker might draw some things on top of other things. So make sure you drag the draw sprite action that we made to the very top so that it doesn't cover up the score, health bar, and number of lives. Good catch. Now if we run the game, we see the bottom image there. And if I shoot an enemy, my score goes higher. Okay, last we want to have a title screen to make our game look more professional. The title screen is going to be a background, so create a new background. Right click backgrounds and choose create background, call it BG underscore title screen. When you make your own games, you can draw your own title screen however you want, but for now we are going to use the default image. Click load background and find the picture of the plane with 1945 as logo. This background is the size of the screen, so it's the full title screen. Click OK. We've created the title screen background and can unbold that from the list. We also want to create an object to manage the title screen. So create an object, name it OBJ title screen, 
doesn't look like anything because it just manages the title screen. What do we want it to manage? We want to be able to start the game when the user presses any key. So click Add Event, Keyboard, Any Key. When that happens, we want to start the game. To do that, we go to the Next Room. Under the Main One tab, drag the Next Room icon and make it have any transition you want. So we've created our title screen object and can unbold that from the list. Now we need to have our title screen be the first room of the game, and then all the other rooms after it will be the next levels. Create a new room. Name it rm underscore title screen. To do this, go to the settings tab and you can give it the right name. To give it the right background, go to the tiles tab. We can choose BG underscore title screen and then place it in the room by clicking anywhere. Now our title screen looks good, but the player will be stuck there if he tries to play the game. Remember to put the title screen manager object in the room. Go to the objects tab, choose OBJ title screen, put it anywhere in the room. Doesn't matter where since it doesn't have an image and will be invisible to the player. GameMaker has the order of rooms to be the order that the player plays the game. So in our Rooms folder, make sure that the title screen is at the top of all of our other rooms. Now our first room is the title screen and we can un unbold that from the list. Let's test the game and see how it runs. See the first screen is the title screen. I press a key and then start playing the game. Looks like we have a pretty polished game. This can be a finished game once you get your own art in and have lots of fun customizing levels. Remember to ask your teachers if you have any questions and always remember to save your work.